Right. In this video, we are going to talk about how we can convert bounding box box annotations from YOLO to COCO format. So first of all, let's understand what is a bounding box and what is the usage. So as you can see in this image, there are several boxes around several different objects. So basically all these boxes around the objects, objects are called bounding boxes. Bounding boxes are used to label objects in machine learning, and then these labels are used to train the object detection models. So that's what the bounding box is, and they're used to label objects and then further train the machine learning models. The problem is that depending on what machine learning model you use, they have different uh, requirements for what the bounding box, how the bounding box should be defined. So for example, the two main ones are YOLO and COCO. So the YOLO format of the bounding box is basically it has a file called object.names. It's a text file that has all the different categories that we have in the data set. And then for each and every image, we have a text file that defines the bounding boxes in that particular image. So for example, the image called uh, oil, uh, rubbed, all of this, it has one, two, three, four labeled objects. And these are the bound, bounding box for each of those objects. And one is basically the category for that object. So for example, one in this case we, would be door. So these are all just four different labels for four different doors. And that's the YOLO bounding box. And then for the COCO format, we have basically just one JSON file. And that JSON file contains the annotations for all of the images in the data set. So as we can see, so the format goes like this. We have a big, huge JSON file. And in the JSON file, first we will have the information about the data set. And then we have the license type. And then we have the categories. So in the categories, these are the same categories that are defined in the object dot names. So we have, we list them categories here in the JSON file. Then the next thing is the images. So the images are listed, all of the images in the data set are listed under images. And the important thing is that each image is, should be given a different ID. So for example, ID one, image two, ID two, image three, ID three, and we have all the images under here. And then for the bounding box labels, we have next thing called annotations. So under the annotations, we have for every image, we have the bounding box. So for example, so for first image, as you can see, the image ID is one. So here the image ID is one, and this is the bounding box, one of the bounding box in that image ID. And again, for the next one, here is also image ID one, and this is the bounding box for second object in the, uh, in the, um, in that same image. Okay, so if we compare the two side by side, so this is the YOLO format. So we have one, two, three, four objects and their bounding boxes, and they all are of the same category. And then here, this is just showing the JSON file, portion of the JSON file that shows how this bounding box looks like in the, G, in the COCO format and how the second bounding box looks like in the COCO format here. Now, as you can see, the numbers are really different. And here, these are all infractions, but here they are, they are not necessarily less than one, right? So we want to understand if, let's say you find a data set, which is given in the YOLO format, but you happen to use a object detection model that wants to have a COCO format, how do we, how do we make this conversion? Or is it, is it even possible? The answer is yes, it is quite possible. We just have to understand what is the difference between the COCO format bounding box and the YOLO format bounding box. Here, we can see that, let's say this is the image and this has certain height and certain width. 
In this image, we have some object that has a bounding box. So this is a smaller box. And that bounding box has certain height and certain width. In the COCO format, we basically define a bounding box with four elements. So we have the X and Y image coordinates in pixel for the left hand left top left top left corner of the bounding box and then we also specify what is the width of the bounding box and what is the height of the bounding box on the other hand for the yolo format so same thing we have an image with the with certain width and height and we have a bounding box for a certain object in that image the four elements that yolo format uses are again x and y and then width and height but these are not the same as the coco format the difference is that first of all the x and y are the coordinates of the center of the bounding box further the they are not absolute coordinates they are relative coordinates so for example x um, x coordinate for this particular point is actually we give it as x over the image width so it's the it's the uh, relative and same thing for the width and the height we don't specify the absolute width and the height of the bounding box we actually give it as a, a relative width and height relative, relative to the image height and width so now we understand what these two what are the differences between these two it's quite easy to make the translate translation from here to here or here to here and these are just simple equations math equations from the understanding of these two bounding box so let's say if we are given a yolo format here we can easily convert that into coco format by just use doing these transformations again these are very simple math equations Now, how do we do this? The, I created a Python file that actually does this for you and I will make that available on my GitHub repository and I'll have the link below, but I'll just give a small explanation of how I did it. So this is my uh, uh, Jupyter notebook. So firstly, I, I, uh, in this case, I, was, I found a data set that had the bounding box in the YOLO format. So I did have the object dot names that had all the object categories. So I extracted the categories from there and put that into the JSON format, which we saw here in this case. So this field, categories field, was filled in by using the object dot names that was available in the YOLO format. And then, so this is basically the header of my JSON. And now the main portion is how to have the bounding box. So for the bounding box, I, I read all the individual TXT files that contains the bounding box in the YOLO format. And I basically convert those to COCO format using the equations that I mentioned here. And if we go back here in my code, basically these are the equations down here, uh, down here. And that's it, guys. Uh, so it's pretty simple to convert um, one to the other. So if you find a data set that is labeled in the COCO format, but you want to use, uh, let's say, YOLO model, so you want to convert that to YOLO format, you can easily do that. And similarly, if you, let's say you're given a YOLO format bounding box, but your model wants to have a format that is in COCO format, then Again, it's pretty easy to do that uh, conversion. Again, I'll provide the link um, to my code in my in, in 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 the links below. And if you're interested in checking out more interesting tutorials, and I do have a website. Again, I'll provide the link below, and you're free to check that out. Thank you. Bye.